Welcome to this introduction on relative velocity. Relative velocity is a very new, in fact one of the latest addition to the AMF syllabus. It can easily become the most challenging. In fact, a lot of my students find it the most challenging and therefore the most satisfying to be able to do. Okay, let's take a look at the scope of relative velocity and what it's all about. Okay, relative velocity can be broadly divided into four subsections as listed here. Okay, it can be uh, broadly be listed as uh, you know parallel motion or motion in air or in water. This is when we deal with questions like um, how do we fly an aeroplane from one point to the other point uh, when there's a wind blowing from a certain direction at a certain speed. Okay, how do we steer a boat from one bank to the other bank when we take into consideration the current flowing across the river? Okay, the third type of relative velocity questions will be um, relative motion of two moving objects. This is when we learn how to figure out whether two moving objects moving in different direction uh, will be colliding or will they be simply crossing each other's path. Okay, lastly, we'll be using what we learn in vectors to solve relative velocity questions in Cartesian form. Okay? Most of the pro most of the students find the most challenging to visualize what relative velocity is all about because um, it is quite hard to imagine what is what is the question describing. Okay? So uh, let us just first have a concept of what relative velocity is all about. The term relative implies with respect to okay that means say from a certain perspective. Right, you can say that um, relative to your your grandmother, you are very young, okay, so something like that. A best way I find to describe relative concept to students would be to imagine this. In fact, not really imagine, but uh, you know this already. Okay, on Earth, when we are on Earth, okay, we will think that the sun is moving from east to west. Okay, so but of course we know that that's not true. It's not that the sun is moving around the earth; it is the earth that is revolving around the sun. But the fact is that relative to us on earth, we see the sun moving from east to west every day. Okay, and that is why, in fact, it is so difficult for um, the scientists in earlier days when when uh, they start to realize that the, the the earth is actually not the center of the universe it, it, they find it very difficult to accept that okay so this is the same kind of difficulty that students face because they find it very difficult to imagine you know what is described in um, relative velocity okay so just take this concept with you very simple concept it's not wrong or right I mean, I mean, it's not wrong to say that we see the sun moving from east to west. It's not wrong, all right. But we do know that, you know, it is the Earth that's moving around the sun, okay. But the perspective that we have on Earth, okay, that means to say relative to us, the sun is moving, okay. So of course, if you are on the sun, relative to the sun, we are the one moving, okay. So, um, in fact, I'll encourage you to find out more on uh, the topic of uh, relativity um, on uh, what Einstein was talking about okay it is very abstract physics so if you have a keen interest on physics and astronomy um, do go ahead and read more on that okay but for now we we'll just concern ourselves with uh, relative velocity in a simple concept like this okay so let's just go on to lesson one where we talk about parallel motion